give God no more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. I release, I let go. I let the spirit run my life. And my heart is open wide. Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. And everybody think about this. We're letting all release. Today's a brand new day. We can start anew from this moment on. I release and I let go. I let my spirit run my life. And my heart is open wide. Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. And I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. And, uh, let us remember that if we want to show our appreciation for Michael, we can always use our little reaction buttons or um, we can wave to the webcam. Now I have, let's see here, there we go. Um, I have the opportunity to see if there is a volunteer for the Daily Word. So if you would like to read the Daily Word, can you do that please? Can, cause you, can you indicate that in the chat or wave your hand at the, uh, at the webcam so I can see who might want to read the Daily Word today? Cheryl Hodgins, would you do that? So we'll unmute you. So let's continue to get comfortable and relax even more deeply into this time of prayer and meditation and open our hearts to receive the message of today's daily word which will be read by Cheryl. The theme for today is appreciation. I'm grateful for the good in my life. Today I'd like to take today I take time to appreciate the abundance that surrounds me. I notice the beauty of the natural world the talent and dedication behind the music and art I enjoy, and the skill and commitment of the people who work to maintain a safe and orderly world. The more I focus my attention on everything I have to appreciate in my life, the more I notice even more blessings. I am eager to share the gift of appreciation, so I give my full attention to someone I care about as we share a meal or a favorite activity or simply a quiet moment together. Feeling grateful for my life's blessings, I feel renewed appreciation for the love and beauty that enriches me. And from Luke 10, 23, then turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for reading the daily word for us. Unity Spiritual Center is a center of prayer and healing. And during this time of shelter in place, please know that you're always invited to uh, send a prayer request our way, either leaving it on our phone line, which is secure. It's 415 
415-566-4122. Again, 415-566-4122. By emailing me uh, at uscsf at att.net. Um, or now, we also have this opportunity uh, here during our service for you to share a prayer request with your spiritual family here if you would like to. Um, just note that in the chat or again, uh, raise your hand in front of your camera so we can call on you. And for now, before we open that up, let's just hold all the prayer requests that are that have been said and that are unsaid in our hearts and let's know for each person who has a, a prayer request either for themselves or for someone else that they and their loved ones are enfolded in divine love and that perfect divine order is taking place in their lives, even when it doesn't seem like it is. Mm -hmm. So with that, let's take the time to make our prayers audible. We'll sing the first uh, stanza to this song that Michael will lead us through, and then we'll open it up. And again, just indicate if you'd like to speak your prayer request aloud. Connected by the heart. Where do you end? Where do I start? Whatever you feel, I feel too. You're a part of me I'm a part of you Your prayer is my prayer too Your prayer is my prayer see a prayer from Ron which is a, a wonderful one I know shared by a lot of us to say a prayer for the entire school community students teachers parents staff administrators as we all do our best to help students have a safe productive and meaningful school year your prayer is my prayer too has a prayer request for their friend Ryan Wells that his back continues to heal and also a prayer for Annette's sister in Germany uh, Melissa who has to go back to work your prayer is my prayer too Judy's hand up. Uh, Judy, if you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I have a prayer for my sister-in-law who is struggling with her mental health and her two boys who are uh, just now teenagers and acting very much like it. Your prayer is my prayer too. And uh, a prayer from Lynn for Marcy's son, Ryan, who has been having a lot of headaches. Your prayer is my prayer too. Anyone else like to share a prayer request aloud? Susan has a prayer, is asking for prayer for Lavina, who is being released from rehab today. 
your prayer is my prayer too. So have a time in our service, as you know, where we let you express gratitude uh, when you're able to share your, your blessings, things that you're thankful for with your spiritual family here. This is your time to do that too. And again, just note that in the chat or by waving your hand in front of the camera. I'll express gratitude for 15 years at Unity Spiritual Center yesterday. Yesterday was my 15th anniversary, so I'm very grateful and thankful uh, and feel blessed by the experiences, the, the many experiences I have had as being um, a part of this community. is expressing gratitude for her amazing husband Richard and son Alex. She is grateful for our unity community and our and her lovely friends and family. And we also express gratitude for Richard and Alex who are part of our community as well. And Susan, uh, grateful for the many people who are trying to safely bring joy and connection to others, particularly the young musicians who entertained at Stern Grove yesterday. And thank you, Kathy. And Lynn and Ryan, so grateful for, I mean, Lynn and Marcy, so grateful for Ryan being able to spend so much of his summer with them. Grateful for Unity and the Unity teachings. Last call. I am so blessed, I am so blessed, I am so grateful for all that I have, I am so blessed, I am so blessed, I am so grateful, I am so blessed. We give thanks for this opportunity to bless and be blessed in spirit. We give thanks for the knowledge that when we ask, it will be given to us. When we seek, we will find. When we knock, the door will be open to us. We give thanks for the feelings of peace and comfort and connection that fill our hearts and minds right now. We give thanks for the privilege of praying for others in our community, in our nation, and around the world. And we affirm that always and in always, no matter what appearances may be, divine love and divine order is everywhere present and so it is amen the memories of the past stay on my mind some are generous some are kind. That there are moments 
that must be left behind. They are mountains that you've already climbed. Honor the past, embrace tomorrow, release the pain, forget the sorrow, remember the journey, respect the trail, set your course for new seas to save. may wander through a darkened road that was your life a heavy load don't stop to worry where the water flowed smell the blossoms of the sea you sow honor the past embrace tomorrow Release the pain, forget the sorrow, remember the journey, respect the trail, and set your course for new seas to save. A touch, a look, a taste. Makes you recall some things remember when you were small. Replay the times of joy, and when you cried, let go of tears that long ago have dried. Honor the past, embrace tomorrow. Release the pain, forget the sorrow, remember the journey, respect the trail, set your course for new seas to save. Again, be sure and use your reaction button or <clears throat> express your appreciation in front of your, your webcam. We are so blessed to have somebody who not only um, takes care to work with the themes of whatever the speaker of the day is, is looking at, but uh, often, in fact, most times writes original compositions. It's very special. So, for those of you who are on social media, you may have seen a meme floating around that went something along the lines of, pretty sure we all got it wrong back in 2015 when we envisioned where we'd be in 2020. Is that not true? <clears throat> and it's funny. It's funny because uh, if for people like us who know the power of envisioning that which we choose to see in our lives, um, no one could have predicted that not only our entire country, but most of the entire world would be shut down due to a global pandemic. That was just not something that any of us saw coming. And the same is true about life in general, isn't it? That although we make plans and we make vision boards, often in this journey we're on as spiritual beings having a human experience, things take twists and turns that no one ever saw coming. And in that cycle, we have so many opportunities to practice spiritual principles. The most important, perhaps, being the three practices of trust, faith, 
and gratitude. And those are three practices that I'm going to be exploring with you today. Now, some of you have heard me recite the very important quotation by Albert Einstein before. It's important because in it is a suggestion for how we live our lives, a suggestion for how we can trust the events that occur in our lives. He said, the most important question a person can ask is, is the universe a friendly place? I'll repeat that. The most important question a person can ask is, is the universe a friendly place? Now, why that question is so important is because based on our answer to that, we choose to either live our lives from fear or trust. In other words, if we believe the universe is not a friendly place, we tend to make decisions from fear. If we believe that the universe is a friendly place, then we tend to live with trust. Trust that as we say every Sunday, despite any appearances to the contrary, divine order is taking place. That's a statement of trust. Now, right now, we are living in a time when it does not seem like the universe is particularly friendly. And there are days when it certainly doesn't seem like divine order is taking place. Am I right? <laughs> Shake your head if you think I'm right. Can I hear an amen on that? Yes. <clears throat> I don't need to catalog all the things that appear to be going wrong in our world at this time. You are very familiar with most of them, hopefully not all of them. It does feel like this is not only an unfriendly time to be alive, but a scary time. We see so much sorrow and devastation and destruction every time we turn on the news or read the news. But there's another quotation that I love and that can be very helpful during tough times. And that is, this is not happening to you. This is happening for you. And that is, in effect, the explanation for the first quotation. The universe is a friendly place and this is happening for you, not to you. It's a way to reframe anything that we're going through, to switch from fear to faith. And here's the thing that's pretty amazing. You get to decide what kind of universe you live in. The friendly universe where things happen for you or the unfriendly universe where things happen to you. That is a choice that everyone makes, which world, which universe they live in. And often we can't tell at the time which universe is at play. When we're living through things, we often don't always have the perspective <clears throat> when we're in the throes of something, whether we're in the throes of a friendly universe or an unfriendly universe. We just know that we're in the throes, right? But that's where holding a higher perspective can be helpful. The perspective of knowing that this too shall pass and that we can actually choose what our response to any given situation will be at any time. We get to choose that. Friendly or unfriendly universe. Fear or faith. The more we practice making that choice, the easier it becomes. And there's a third practice that's important to hold on to as well. Recently, I had the experience of looking back at a series of events in my own life that just seemed like such a waste. This was something totally unrelated to the church. And I was looking back at the series of experiences and it just seemed like such a waste of time and money. 
And I found myself wishing that I could have just started at the place that I ended at. <laughs> That I that I had been able, I wish that I had been able to bypass all the circuitous routes, all the bends in the road that now, from this perspective, seem so wasteful. But a wise friend of mine reminded me that we all have things in our lives that we wish could have been more expeditious, right? <clears throat> we all have patches in our lives that seem like a waste of something. But if we take the time to really examine them, then we will see ways in which they gave us something, even if those gifts were sometimes painfully won. And that was such a helpful reminder to me of the power of gratitude. How gratitude really is the key that can shape shift any experience. Gratitude is the key that turns something that seems wasteful into gain. It is the key that turns something that seems to be happening to us into something that is happening for us. It is the key that shifts our feeling that this is an unfriendly universe into a realization that this is in fact a friendly universe if we take the time to really look at the things our long and winding road has brought us. And it is perhaps the most important spiritual practice we can ever undertake, to be grateful, to always look for the blessing in any circumstance. The actor Tyler Perry, and I did actually amuse myself thinking about the fact that I'm quoting both Albert Einstein and Tyler Perry. <laughs> lesson, but hey, <clears throat> wisdom is where you find it, right? And he had something extremely wise to say. He said, trials we go through, the trials that we go through, and the blessings we receive are the same thing. He is clearly someone who believes that the universe is friendly and that things happen for him. Someone who believes that trials are lessons you can learn from, and those learnings are blessings. What we learn along the way is a blessing, or it can be, if we choose to look at it that way. Now, the title of this lesson is Looking Back, Looking Forward. And originally, I had intended to spend some time reviewing my past at Unity Spiritual Center because I mentioned, as I mentioned earlier today, or actually yesterday, <clears throat> is my anniversary um, at the church, my anniversary as an employee of the church. I actually had attended as a congregant uh, years before, but I started working for the church 15 years ago yesterday on August 8th, 2005. And that is literally three times longer three times longer than any other job I've, I have ever been at. Um, and 10 years of those 15 have been as your spiritual leader. And for those of you who were around 15 years ago, and quite a number of you were, um, we've seen change along the way. And it's an important thing to look back periodically at different aspects of our lives just to see where we have come. Because when we do do that from a different perspective, then it is easier to see the blessings, the blessings along the way. So because this has been a time of looking back for me personally because of this anniversary, I want to also give you the opportunity of taking a look back as well which we'll do in a minute. But before we do that, I just want to underscore again the three qualities that will help us to go through any change, any challenge, even during days such as these. These are all qualities that will aid us as we look backward and also as we look forward. And again, those qualities are trust, <clears throat> the trust that we live in a friendly universe, faith, 
the faith that, as we say, God is good and that things are happening for us, not to us. And finally, gratitude, the realization of the blessings and the trials. So I'm going to end this as I began it with wise words from Albert Einstein. He also said that there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is. So in these days that are often hard, that can often seem dark, may we live as though everything is a miracle. May we live exercising our awareness that the thoughts we hold in mind produce after their kind, as Unity likes to say in a easy to remember mantra. But it's true. May we remember that the thoughts we hold in mind are going to perpetuate our experience. So may we choose to live from trust, from faith, and from gratitude, no matter what appearances are. Because when we're able to do that, we are able to create from those same feelings and our experiences as we move forward will reflect all of those things as well. And so it is. Amen. So I am going to give you that opportunity <clears throat> to spend a little time looking forward and looking back as well. And as I turn on the meditation music, I invite you to lean back in your chairs and get comfortable. And just take a few slow deep breaths as I <laughs> pass my photos into my inbox to play the music. So, wherever you are, whether you're leaning back against a chair, couch, a headboard, just feel yourself being held, realizing there's nothing you need to do right now. You can rest. Just as you are always held in the divine, and rest in the divine. So feeling safe and held. Let us begin to reflect on trust and faith and gratitude. How they've played a part in our lives how they can play a part. So, using the time frame of 15 years, going back to 2005, the year that I started at USC as an employee, things have you accomplished in those 15 years? What's been a part of your life or the 
become a part of your life. For some of you, it may be a marriage, a child or children, a new career path perhaps, a new hobby. For others, maybe in the last 15 years you've been winding down, you've been really focusing on that which gives you the most joy. Perhaps you've been able to travel more or take up a new hobby. So just take a look back to the year 2005 and think of the things that you have accomplished and experienced since then. If you've been having a human experience like most of us had, chances are that in those 15 years also experienced some hardship or challenge, perhaps some heartbreak. So take a look now and reflect on how you've grown what lessons you've learned since 2005. How have you evolved in the last 15 years? one of the spiritual practices that I talked about earlier, gratitude. What are you grateful for from this time period? What are some blessings that the last 15 years brought to you? Either just as pure blessing or as a blessing that resulted from something that felt like a trial. What are you grateful for as you look over the past 15 years? And perhaps related to that, what is a challenge that you overcame, that you overcame during that time frame? Could be a health challenge, perhaps, an economic challenge, relationship challenge. What challenges have you overcome in the last 15 years? you're on the other side of. And from that perspective, can you see how divine order was taking place? Even when it didn't feel like it, you were living in a friendly universe, it's a benevolent universe. God, the good, was at work in your life. And from that vantage point now, Turn toward the future and let us 
just look ahead, not quite as far ahead. Let's just look ahead by five years to the year 2025. And in five years, reflect on what it is that you might like to achieve. In this time frame of five years, like to achieve experience. Using perhaps some of that wisdom that you've gained through the years. What are you looking forward to in the next five years? What can you see on the horizon that may be coming your way? And if you don't see it, what would you like to see? What would you like to create? Pleasurable activity or experience? What would you like to be yours in the next five years? on what you might be able to do to help others in the next five years. Those of us who have been through trials and challenges, and I think that's all of us, know that often what we've been through and come out of can be such a gift if we are able to use it in service to others. So what would you like to use or do? Or how would you like to help others in the next five years? Perhaps using some hard one wisdom. Lastly, how will your life be different in 2025 from an ideal perspective? If you were to sketch out, create your life just the way you want it to be in 2025, how would it be different? sanctuary at any time, knowing, of course, that you can return to these questions and others at any time. Begin now to come back to your outer sanctuary, whether that's your living room bedroom, your kitchen, your office, wherever you are, begin to return to that place and when you're ready, having moved your fingers or your feet, coming back to waking consciousness and opening your eyes. All right, I'm gonna 
to put you all on gallery view here so I can see you as we say together. Here at Unity Spiritual Center, we are an ocean of love. Here at Unity Spiritual Center, we have an inspiring vision, an exciting mission, and compelling values by which we strive to live. And I invite you to say them along with me. Our vision is centered in God. We co-create a world powerfully transformed through the growing movement of shared spiritual awakening. Our mission is we are a creative, joy-filled spiritual community dedicated to healing, inspiring, and transforming the lives of all people through prayer, education, and love. And our values are we are spirit-led, generous with resources, inclusive, joyously creative, and guided by integrity. And feeling inspired by our vision, mission, and values, feeling enriched by what we've experienced here today and what we're about to experience in our Zoom gathering following the service. Let us take time now to be a channel for enrichment through our generous ties and love offerings. I want to thank everyone who heard the call last week and um, uh, who gave generously to our spiritual center that is so appreciated. And um, as you know, our expenses continue um, even when we're not able to be in the building. So as Michael plays another wonderful song, if you can use that time to um, pull out your checkbook or make a donation online going to our homepage and using the link that's on the right side of our page so that is so appreciated so let's take a moment now to bless our tithe and love offerings holding them in our hands or next to our hearts as we say our offertory prayer divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that i have all that i give and all that i receive Thank you, God. Ooh, Jai, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter. Someday, yeah, together and we'll get it undone. Someday, when your head is much lighter. Someday, yeah, we'll walk in the rays of the beautiful sun. Someday, when the world is much brighter. Child, things are gonna be easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter. Someday we'll put it together and we'll get it undone. Someday when your head is much lighter. Someday, yeah, we'll walk in the rays of the beautiful sun. Someday, when the world is much brighter. And we'll get it all done Someday when the world is much brighter Ooh. Someday we'll walk in the breeze of the beautiful sun Someday when the world is much brighter Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier Ooh, 
watch out, things will get brighter. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will be brighter right now. Right now, right now, just wait and see. Right now, things are gonna be right now, just you wait and see. Right now, things are gonna be brighter. for another wonderful song why don't we bless our offering right now <clears throat> by saying our beautiful blessing spirit of the living God bless the acts of our hands our minds our hearts may everything offered here at Unity Spiritual Center be a reflection of all that is good within us Grant us the courage to patiently listen for the stirring of your presence. Enliven our spirits with humor. Fill us with reverence for one another and gratitude for our diversity. May unity, beauty, and truth be the fruit of all we do. And so it is. Amen. So I will just make uh, quick announcements, as you know, because it looks like all of you have been here before. We will hold our Zoom meeting following uh, the service. We'll take three minutes in between uh, the two for you to grab a cup of coffee. Um, but just stay tuned to the link that you're on and um, we will reconvene in about uh, three minutes. It looks like this worked uh, in terms of giving you a, a new dedicated uh, Zoom meeting um, number as well as a passcode. So for a while at least, we are going to continue to err on the side of caution so we don't get Zoom bombed again. And what that means is that you're going to need to save your easing as I send it out each week because there will be a new um, a passcode and a new link for you to click to join us on Sundays. So we will continue with this practice, uh, which seems to have worked um, for at least the near future, and we'll keep you posted if anything changes from that. So let's see if we had any children with us. It looks like we did because I can see them right now. Alonzo and Santiago, so awesome to see you always. And is Alex, oh, and I see Alex too, awesome. You're all here, so let us bless these incredible boys. We love you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the presence of God in you, empowering you to do great things. Thank you, God. And I think it's time now to sing our peace song.
as we go forward into this day and into the week, let us remember that we can step forward with trust, with faith, and with gratitude because the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. Wherever I am, God is. And all is well. Thank you, God. Thank all of you. And I will see you in about three minutes at our Zoom hospitality meeting. said, hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live once when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times roll. Don't sit there mumbling, talking trash. Y'all want to have a ball, got to spin. Some cash, let the good times roll. Mm -hmm. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times roll. Let me talk here. To Said, hey, Mr. Landlord, lock up all the doors. When the police come around, tell them the joint is closed. Let the good times roll. Mm -hmm. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times roll. Let's talk some more now. I said, hey, everybody, Mike is in town. I got a dollar and a quarter, just raring the clown. Don't let nobody play me cheap. I got 50 cents more that I'm going to keep. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times roll. Let the good times roll, 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 let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old, 